All right, we're gonna measure Andrew's skin folds. If we can find a fold. George is gonna calibrate my gooch underneath my ball sack. <laughs> we're just gonna see what he's, where he's at. You can see what a drastic transformation just since last week. And by the weekend when it's time for him to uh, get on stage, it'll be just as drastic a transformation. Take your shirt, take your shirt off, drop your pants. Oh, look at this fancy master. <laughs> what the fuck is, is that? Fucking cal it's look at that caliper yeah. George has. Calprot, fuck you think this is? Look how long it is so you don't have to get too close to the Amateurs. specimen. Seen amateur night. <laughs> Where do you want me to read pins? Don't be scared, son. <laughs> this is only going to hurt a little Look bit. <gasps> Can't wait till all those veins come out. Can't wait. Alright, turn around. And what are you looking for when you're squeezing different places on his back here? Are you looking for uh, the thickest piece you can find, or what are you looking for? No, you're looking for a uh, subscapular up in here. Subscapular. And what was that, bicep? Yeah. I can't wait till all this shit comes in. Turn around. Stand relax. Wanna do my cat? We will. <laughs> we'll try. Turn around again. Oh, damn it, that's terrible. That's it's gonna go away. Oh, son of a bitch. I was feeling confident until he grabbed that. Still damn, man, that's low. Six? It's nothing. Face me. George is very modest, but he's gotten more people ready who have uh, placed highly in big shows than anybody I know. All right, drop your pants, son. Yes, this part. Feel confident this part. All right, pull your shorts up right here. Pull your weight on your other leg. Jesus Christ. Nothing to pitch there. Yeah. It's you, Kev. Same thing. My face may. Oh, this one's going to be difficult. I hold your calf like that. Uh, try not to flex it, but turn more towards me. It flexes. Hang on, I'm just pulling your skin. Your skin's real separated. It's nothing. Two. All right, what are you weighing this morning? Uh, 240. 240. Weren't you just 245 on the scale? Yeah, but I had, I, had, I just drank like a gallon of water and had clothes on and stuff. So, uh, I can wear my stuff on this one. And with clothes and shoes and stuff, I could probably take three, three off. I guess it maybe 242. Right, don't cheat him and make his body fat seem higher. Then he's going to be depressed for a third day. Eat a bunch of cookies. think it is <clears throat> all right I'm gonna stop the video there because I don't have the rest of it no I have the rest of it I'm just goofy that's not even funny I just I'm in a goofy mood because I'm tired I worked hard today and I'll show you a little bit of that in another video um, I'll have a little contest here just a little bit of fun if you think it's fun if you don't think it's fun don't participate no big deal what do you think Andrew's body fat percentage is as you see in that video I'll give you a hint, it's more difficult to guess accurately than you might think. Uh, reason being, um, I have seen uh, on YouTube where many people have posted examples of various body fat levels to try to give the audience an idea of what it looks like, of what it actually looks like at different body fat levels. And um, I'm sure they have very good intentions, and I'm sure it's very useful to people, I guess. And uh, 
in many instances, I suppose, that may be an accurate accounting of the body fat measurements of the individual displayed. However, I also want you to know that, and this is a prime example, different people and different bodies hold water in different ways, and there are many different strategies uh, and approaches and protocols. And it's not as easy as you think um, to guess. Not always. Not always. Some people it is easy. Some people it's not easy at all. Um, if you look at an average, you know, average people, you look at people on the beach, or you look at people during the summertime when you can see a bit of them, uh, you may have a pretty good understanding about where they're at. But when you're talking about competitive bodybuilding and guys that have been through this a number of times already, their bodies they hold water compartmentally a little bit different. I mean, they store the same compartments as everybody else, three basic compartments. But people's approach is different, and so uh, we're talking about the way that they manipulate sodium or do not manipulate sodium or manipulate any other electrolytes or do not mani manipulate them, and how they go about doing what they're doing. And some people hold water um, in, 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 uh, drastically differently than other people. A good example is that is Kobe versus Andrew. Drastic difference in the way that they hold water. And what I'm getting at is sometimes in video, you lose a lot in video, trust me, it's difficult to uh, pinpoint exactly how much is fat versus how much is water. So, how much fat does he have to lose by next week? A lot? A little? Don't know. Does it seem impossible? Does it seem easy? How much water does he need to lose? Can he do it? Is it all water? Is it all fat? Is he going to miss his mark? What do you think? So here's the contest. Whoever can most accurately predict um, what or, or guess what his body fat level is in this video will win whatever. whatever. I don't know. I'll give you whatever you want, basically, if I can. If it's in my power. Uh, what that amounts to, largely, is a hat, uh, a beanie, uh, a t-shirt, a tank top, you know, something like this. Um, Maybe, you know, some manner of supplement or something, depending on what I got on hand. I don't know. We can negotiate. But um, next week, I'll put up the rest of this video uh, when I can pretty much at the same time juxtapose it with what he ended up looking like and what he might doubt at then. So that way, you can look at the numbers and you can look at the physical appearance and you say, hmm, and we'll just see if that's interesting or not. All right. So that's all. Have an awesome night. And... Uh, I'll see you very shortly.